Hi everyone. Uh, today's video is going to be on this digital readout. I'm sure you've seen them on eBay. And uh, I know people have had difficulties uh, configuring these uh, when you're going to mount this onto the lathe. And we're going to show you how to do that coming up. So I've mounted uh, the digital readout to my, my lathe. And I made a bracket and I have these, um, these scales. There's my x-axis scale. And then my uh, z-axis is, of course, on the back here. And this is the, uh, you've seen them on eBay and stuff. This is a, a GC S900 uh, 2D. And <clears throat> you can use it, it's a two-axis. This You can use it for your mill or your lathe. Now, the issue is that when it comes in, it's usually set for, like, mill two. When you come down here and you're going to, for your x-axis, say you have that set at zero and you're going to turn this ten thousandths and that's what you get up here. You get uh, ten thousandths in the x. And that's the problem. When you're cutting on a diameter like this, you're actually cutting uh, off of both sides. So what you have done, when you take that cut, you're uh, actually removing 20 thousandths off of there. So what you need to do is you got to go into uh, your parameters and change that, and that's what uh, we're going to show you how to do here. All right, well, let's go in here and uh, start our calibration process. So what you need to do is there's a, the uh, on-off switch in the back here, and uh, it's, it's a little tricky how to do this. There's your metric inch button right here. Now when that starts up, it's going to go through that beep beep process and you'll see a bunch of uh, digits flash across there. What you need to do, and this may take you more than one time, because you got to do it very quickly. Once you hear that beep start, you got to hit this metric inch button six times before the process is done. And uh, we'll just give that a try here. All right, so what we got is that DRO, and uh, if it was on the Digimac, you got to hit that arrow key until you get that DRO. Then you're going to hit the Enter button, and it's on mill two. Now this is where you're going to change it. You can see it can go to an EDM machine, lay three, lay two, grind. So we want to get on lathe two. And then I'm going to hit this. A decimal point. You can see that it had that 5-5 five, five flash up there. That's important, so let's um, turn that off, and we're going to turn that back on, and when we do, we're going to want to hit that uh, the decimal point just sometime during the process when it beeps. Here we go. We're going to toggle through here again. Now you can see that, that 5 and 5 there, what that number represents is the, uh, the scale number. These are five micron scales. Now I've seen some people <clears throat> change that X to a 10 and I don't think that that's, uh, as far as I know, I don't think that's entirely accurate to, to do that. If they're a five micron scale, just leave them at five microns and we'll show you how you're going to get that so you can do the two to one on there. So we will uh, uh, get out of there and now what we're going to do, we'll turn it back off because everything is configured in there the way you want it. Let it go up there. Now it's stayed at lathe 2 like it should. So what you'll see up there is that uh, single thing that tells you that you're on your lathe 2. What you need to do to get this to be 2 to 1 is go X and then half. Now you'll see that that value doubled on there. And that's just what you need. And that's all you need to, to take care of that. So let's show you how to set a tool. We're going to take and uh, run this up till that uh, just touches that stock there. And then we're going to come up and we're going to hit on here this uh, Y, zero, and enter. Now you can see that that has come to, uh, to zero. So now we'll do our X. Um, 
turn that on and then we're just going to make contact with that. Take a nice light skim cut. And then stay in contact with that. And don't move that cross line. And what we do, we're going to measure that. And I have uh, one inch, exactly one inch on there. I'm going to come up here and I'll hit this X and then I'm going to enter. You'll see that goes dark up there. 1.000 uh, and then enter. Now that tool is uh, completely calibrated um, in the X and in our uh, uh, Z axis or Y axis. And uh, if we want to turn that uh, to say point uh, 990, and we'll take a skim cut across there say 990, turn that on. take our micrometer now, take our measurement, and there we have it, 990 thousandths. So we are good to go. Well, that's all I have today on the calibration of the uh, digital readout and the setting of a tool. If you have any uh, further questions, just leave them in the comments section below, and I'll try and answer them as, as quickly as I can. Um, thank you so very much for watching. I really appreciate it.